Hello all, welcome back to Winter Dust Stuff, where we react to some crazy stuff. Today, we have a very special one. This is the beginning of the more uh, indie animated episodes, and today we have the first of four things from Hell of a Boss that we're going to be checking out. We have Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 5, Unhappy Campers. Now... I'm very excited for this episode. I haven't reacted to Hell of a Boss in a long while. Um, I have seen a few little spoilers. I believe we're going to meet Blitz's sister in this episode, which is very interesting. Um, but I don't really know much else about it. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I've just been kind of waiting to do this episode, get into it myself. I haven't watched anybody else cover it. Um, I've heard things about it. I've heard this one is kind of lackluster compared to the rest of this season but we'll see we'll see where it goes so what we're going to do is we're going to put these on we are going to activate our obs here because that is always good which should be right here and we are going to react to this bad boy hell of a boss season two episode five unhappy campers let's go the following cartoon contains traffic violence, strong language, sexual themes, flashing lights, as well as rampant name and hormone. And so, yes, and it is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, shit. Hey, Blitz. How's it going, baby? Come on, come on, come on. Shit, 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 shit. My dude. Well, if it isn't the deadbeat. Well, if it isn't Nurse Pussyface. You ain't getting in here. How oh, many whoa. times do I have to sodomize you with the taser before you take a hint? As many as it takes to get me off. Now, enough with this foreplay. Where's Barb? She checked wow. out months ago, but that ain't none of your business. Okay, so, yeah. Her, uh, his sister's name is Barbie Wire, from what I can, uh, recall from what I've heard about this episode. I'm very interested to see what their dynamic is like. It looks like she was in some sort of hospital, maybe rehab. I don't know. Is there rehab in hell? That's an interesting topic. <laughs> Wait, what? But how? This is- where, where- where the fuck did she go? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you, ass clown. You know I kill people for a living, right, bitch? Oh, I'm so fucking scared. <sighs> Fine. Nice. Blitz! She's got a job now. A life. Don't fuck it up by finding her. Oh, that's nice. Why don't you take that advice and shove it right between your pussy legs? Wow. Sir, there's a client here who wants to... I'm sorry. You were saying... Well, it's just that I'm sure one of the other... Ooh, his design is so cool. Or their design, I don't know. That's awesome. Like right there, the, the little lava lamp. The lava lamp stomach. That reminds me of B, uh, Queen B from the season one finale. That's cool. Camp counselors killed me. I'm just not sure which one. How could you not know? I was out on the lake when my boat started to sink. Someone had drilled holes in it. The counselors are the only ones with keys to the boathouse, and they're the only ones who knew I couldn't swim. It had to be them. Hmm. We don't typically do investigations. I'll have to check with the boss. Uh, pardon moi, sir. Not now, Mox. Sir, there's a client who needs us to investigate his death, and we don't usually... No time! But, sir, we really need the cash flow. And I was thinking, maybe... What part of no fucking time do you not understand? Just handle it yourself. You want me to lead on a hit. I swear on all that is evil, Mox, if you aren't out of my office in negative three seconds... You got it, sir! We'll take the case. And I'll be handling this investigation personally. Honey, are you sure? What about Blitz? Honey, honey, please. Blitz put me in charge this time. He did? Oh, I mean, he, he did! Right. And this is going to be the cleanest, most well-prepped, most surgical hit we've ever had. Don't worry, sir. We'll find your killer and give him what's coming to him. And or her. Or they. Why the fuck wouldn't she tell you? 
Yeah, I just got out of rehab, currently looking for work. 217 followers, that's neat. Endurance, stealth, improv, labor. Click on this ad and get... I'm not fucking with you, dude, for the love of Satan, just click it. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the porn ads. That's, that's pretty typical. Okay. Circus performer. Okay. Interesting. But she doesn't have any posts. Is this supposed to be... Is this supposed to be like Hell's version of Twitter? Because it looks like from the way everything is laid out. But it looks like the the web search bar is like circa 2010 or 2015. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, this this is interesting so far. So... Obviously, Blitz is hung up on his sister trying to find her, and Moxie just takes this case. I wonder how wrong it's going to go, uh, considering um, I've I've heard things do go wrong in this episode. I just haven't been told how. Um, let's see. Let's see how things go wrong. You where she was going? I mean, did you even ask? But hold on, I'm getting another call. Hello. Oh, good. Did you find? Really? Where? Thanks, and I promise if we ever get a contract on your children, we'll make it quick and painless. Bye! Wow. Max, are you sure this isn't a little... much? It's my first lead, Mills. It has to be perfect. Now, in front of you, I you'll find Richard a Hornets. comprehensive guide to your cover persona. Memorize it. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh, his voice acting is so good. Okay, Millie, one last time for safety. I am Maxine, the hottest, most popular girl at my school. And you are? Your brother Miller, I like sports and fucking bitches. Hmm, you know, these kids are a bit younger than I was expecting. Maybe lose that last part. Check. All right, I think we're ready. Hey, Max, check out that shady looking fella over there. I think that's our guy. Uh, Millie. I hardly think pointing out the first guy you see is the proper way to conduct an- No, that's definitely him by bags full of money and drugs and what looks like a drill one would use to poke holes in a boat. But, but that's all circumstantial at best. We need some of that. Brother, <laughs> circumstantial at best? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna go wrong because he's gonna get caught up in everything, like the thrill of being the one in charge, and... Ah, oh, man, okay. Also, cross-dressing Moxie is just the best thing. We stan our cross-dresser king. Uh, that is amazing. He's He's done it quite frequently over the course of the series. I love just the hair. The hair is awesome. Like, where to get that, like... How, how do you style that? Did B help him or something? I don't fucking know. Directly eliminate all That's suspects right. until we can be sure. Now he's looking around and heading into that locked boathouse we heard about. That would be the perfect place to... Mm. Fine, Max. We'll do your way. With my sleuthing skills and your killer eye, we should have this wrapped up in no time. Now. We just have to find the kids with the most influence. Oh, target acquired. <laughs> so, he started a whole line of ground up mints and tried to convince us he was high. Can you even believe him? <laughs> oh, that's Derek. What a riot, right? Um, who the fuck are you? I'm Maxine. I'm the prettiest girl at my school. And all the boys want me. My favorite color is hot pink. Because normal pink is so basic. I like horses, puppies, fast cars, jewelry, and I got my first period last year, and it was so heavy. I guess I'm just more mature than your typical preteen. So, you want to be friends? The fuck is wrong with your legs? What? Um, oh, I am, uh, I was in an accident. The same accident that fucked up your skin? You look like you spent three years in a tanning bed. It's, uh, 
natural? <laughs> yeah, you wish. That botch job looks like it costs five bucks in an alley behind Walmart. Get it off, you fucking freak! But I... Uh... Oh my god, who is that? Oh my god, the shading on that shot, what? Oh my god, who is that? The lighting on that shot, the shading in that... Oh my god, that's gorgeous! Millie! We love our queen! We love her so much! Holy crap, that's a gorgeous shot! What? Look how beautifully tan and the, he is! the movement... What? I got it! Oh. Oh, he dead. Yeah, me too. That was the best spike I've ever seen. Please, I need medical attention. First date is for winners. Oh my God, he is so fucking hot. Oh, you know, he's my brother. Fuck off, troll! Hi. Hmm. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go wrong. Millie is gonna get more attention than him, and he'll realize that she was right about the the guy and try to fuck her over. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, and we have a picture of Barbie. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for one of your employees. Her name is Barbie. Does she work here? Hey, what? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who's gonna get real creative if you don't tell him what he wants. Where is she, fuck nut? I know you know. It only gets worse from here, asshole. Okay, okay. She's out on a pickup. Where? Oh, got the lighting. Oh, the poor kid. I broke the record on the course! Mm hmm I saw. Can you believe this? Everyone loves me! They're cheering! They've even posted videos of me online! Look! Every day as I walk around what? camp, all of these... Musical number? What? <laughs> and it has the lyric, the sing-along. Girls, follow me around. I don't know. the Sigma face that she had in one of those frames. Not exactly low profile. I know, but it's kind of nice having people cheer for me for once, you know? Instead of screaming and pain and horror. Don't forget what we're here to do, Millie. I haven't. I'm just waiting until you're ready. Have you been able to eliminate any suspects? No, of course not. I can't get anything from anyone because they're too busy swooning over you. If you want, we can go off the guy right now. I think he's alone in the cabin. No! I have to do this right. I tell you what, why don't you try winning them over with something you're good at, like I did? How about your music? I can even help you since they already love me. Yeah. Yeah. That just might work. I think that's also the other thing that Moxie isn't getting right. Like, these are just people. They don't... <sighs> In my experience, at least, people don't come to you because you have something special about you. It's because you're genuine. And Moxie's not being genuine here. He's putting up a front and 
making uh, this this character seem like someone who's the hottest shit where she comes from, and that's just not really what people, especially nowadays, would be attached to. They wouldn't be friends with you if you weren't genuine, and I, I think that's something Moxie is really missing. Probably because of the situation and how you have to be top shit in order to be respected, and Moxie isn't often respected, and I get his insecurities, but... Oh, this isn't the way to go about it, buddy. Let's keep going. Y'all wanna hear a song? <laughs> all right! I know you all like me, but Moxine is the real deal, y'all. Let him her tell y'all all about it. Mox! Thank you. Oh, everybody look at me. I'm the greatest. It's plain to see that all you losers wish that you could be like me. But you can't, because I'm a work of art. Yeah, I'm hot shit, so pretty and smart. Oh, everybody take a look at me. Look at me, 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 Moxie. Me, 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 Moxie. Me, 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 Ranger Solo. Nice. You know it is real cool. Moxie? Yep, there it is. Yeah. Again. Millard is being genuine and Moxine is just not. You okay? <laughs> Go away! Moxie, what's going on? Nothing! It's... <laughs> It's just my time of the month. Honey, no. I just want to go home. Hey, big guy. I know you can do this. You're the best assassin slash musician slash preteen girl I know. <laughs> and, and, and investigator. And investigator. Look, I know it's been tough. Just keep playing to your strengths. You have all week to get it right. Okay. Thank you. Jesus. How is there a shark? Oh my god. That's rough. <clears throat> They want me to perform on stage tonight for the local news. Those videos have made me some kind of human celebrity. All week it's been, oh, look at Millard. Isn't he great? Oh, look how talented Millard is. We have a job to do, and you're off dancing for views. Why does it matter so much how these yokels feel about you? It doesn't. It matters how I feel about myself. And for once, I feel like... Like I'm important. Like I'm somebody to be proud of. And I had hoped that my husband would be there to support me half as much as I supported him this week. Millie, I didn't mean... Save it, Mox. You could have finished that job anytime if you had just listened to me. But you wanted to do things your way. So fine, finish the job, go home if you want to, but I'm gonna have my moment with or without you. Oh, crumbs. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Moxie really has just wanted attention and approval. And now that Millie is getting it instead of him, which is totally deserved, by the way. Millie deserves all the fucking credit in this show because she is amazing. And I think she's a very underrated character, especially in terms of like what she can do provide as a cast member i just uh, it pisses me off that moxie is acting the way he is but at the same time because of where he comes from because of the backstory that we got about him i get it yeah it's such a such a cool writing technique just to mix everything up like that it's here man i swear Open it! Oh shit. Uh -huh. Thanks, Chubb. Uh -huh. 
Oh shit. You ready so to Barbie's go? Gonna on? Be here. Champ, I guess. Great. Now get out there and put Camp Ivana come or on the map. That's the name. <laughs> I I have been a Comor. Nice. Very on the nose. <laughs> supportive person I've ever known and the love of my life my wife brother Miller thank you knock him dead baby speaking of you sure go get it baby that was nice by the way <laughs> What in the sir? Foxy, what the fuck are you doing here? Trying to finish the job you gave me? Christ on a stick, you're still working on that? It's been like a fucking week. This is why I don't trust you with dick, Mox. And what exactly are you doing here, sir? Apparently helping finish your botched job. But mostly I'm looking for my sister. Barbie! What? You know her? Do I know her? That's my sister, fuckface. are you doing here shithead i should be asking you the same thing you check yourself out of rehab no call no note and i have to track you down to this shithole with the fuck is this no one he works for me and who's the little twink here uh, no one he works for me sir that guy's the target oh shit barb sounds like your little boy toy got himself into some trouble the fuck are you talking about he killed our client and now our client wants to kill him back? You fucking what? He found out about your drugs. I don't want to fucking hear it, kid. Look, you're not killing my supplier. Oh, fuck. Supplier of what? You're not back on that H8, are you? Fuck no. It's just heroin. Oh, thanks, Satan. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Now oh my god, the poor kid! Uh, what's the point? That He's shit in there after four ahead. days? It's honest work, okay? And I thought it would be sure to keep me as far away from you as possible. And you teamed up with Genius here because... Do you have any idea how easy teenage humans are to manipulate? Hey, no I'm not! Oh, Jimmy Wimmy, can you please keep loading up these doggy wuggies for me? <laughs> sure, oh Barb, whatever you say. Sir, I've spent a week on this. I'm finishing it, one way or another. Don't you dare! Oh, nice. There she is, yeah. I love the outfit, by the way, and I love the markings. All over. So, That's, she's you awesome. My life up and up already. <laughs> nice. Ooh, the framing on that.
Hmm, <laughs> sucks. How is she alive? After swallowing the sword? And still moving around? The song is nice. Oh, damn. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh. Uh oh. Satan, fucking damn it! Thanks a lot, Blitzo. I'm out of a job. <laughs> Satan, damn it. Nice. Barb, wait. I want to help you. Let me help you, please. Uh, you're clean now. Uh, let's grab dinner. We'll catch up and we'll talk about... <laughs> you don't fucking get it! Just because I'm out of rehab doesn't mean I want to see you. I never want to see you. Ever. Next time you want to find me, Blitzo, don't. Damn. Nice. So far. Looks like you did it. No, you did it. I'm so proud of you, Millie. And I'm sorry I let you down. Just don't do it again, dummy. Oh. oh. Yep, in front of all the people. Oh. Yes. Internet sensation and local celebrity Millard Real Boy caught incesting tonight, showcasing a sickening display onlookers deemed too disturbing to look away, and we won't. Gonna be honest, <laughs> Moxie, not too bad for your first solo mission. <gasps> really, sir? No, no, not really. You're a fucking disgrace. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they're still sleeping. Okay. Okay, decent episode. Gonna run through these credits. Okay. It wasn't the best episode of the show, but I will say, I think this was better than the last one, episode four, uh, Western Energies. Songs this episode too. From the Spindle Horse team. Fuck yeah. Alright. Awesome. Okay. So. Alright. Unhappy campers. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I liked this episode. I thought it was much better, actually, than uh, Season 2, Episode 4. Uh, with uh, Western Energies, I thought that episode had just way too much comedy, I think. And while this episode was funny, it wasn't the type of humor that would make me go, ho, 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 and go off laughing. But it was funny in, the, in just the subtler things. And the story, while not perfect, it's not my favorite Hell of a Boss episode by any means, it was still pretty good. And I liked uh, the ending with Barbie Wire. We got a little bit of insight into what that character relationship could be like. Um, you know, with Barbie, you know, telling Blitz, I don't want to fucking see you, dude. N you're kind of nothing to me. Um, which really makes me wonder what's going to happen in the next episode, because I do know that episode six entitled Oops, the next one that I'm going to be checking out, is a prequel to kind of everything that's happened here, and it does explain Fizzarali and Blitz's backstory, which would also help uh, with uh, Barbie's backstory, which is really cool. Um, I actually liked all three of the songs. They were pretty decent. 
Um, uh, not as much action as I was expecting. Um, we've gotten quite a bit of action. Uh, Western Energy's had a lot. Um, uh, X's and O's uh, had a lot of them, Episode 3. Even Episode 2 had a bunch of action um, uh, with uh, the... I can't remember what exactly that one was called, but everything that happened in like the studio um, in Los Angeles. But yeah, this was a pretty decent episode. I don't understand why it's so low reviewed um, in terms of just every episode as a whole. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, I did think the ending was, you know, pretty, pretty funny with the, like, it, it's a weird joke to make. But I, I enjoyed how they executed it. I I don't know. I think that is going to be it for me. I've been Winter of Winter Dust Stuff. We reacted to Bibsy Pops and Spindle Horses. Uh, Hell of a Boss, Season 2, Episode 5, Unhappy Campers. If you like what you saw, leave a like. Leave a comment below what you thought of my reaction, the episode itself, what you think of Hell of a Boss Season 2 so far. That's about it from me. Peace. In due time.